Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Mary, and I want to welcome you back to my channel. This is floss tube number, I think, 23. I can't remember right now. I know it's been a whole year since I did a video. I know I did one last month, and now I'll have to crawl on, you know, figure out my numbers. So, I'm just doing this off the cuff because... If you can't tell, I have a lot of anxiety. So this is about the third time I've tried to do this. And I'm just going to go for it. And I'll just do the best I can. And everybody that's been with me knows. And I appreciate each and every one of you. So I hope you had a really great Christmas and New Year's. I can't believe it's already what you know a little bit into 2023 i know we had a really good time we got to spend time with our friends and our family and that was so amazing and it really felt like christmas to us for the first time in a long time the only person that couldn't show up was my middle son and he already had like i said before he already had previous um Plans, and I wasn't going to get upset about that. But we've talked to each other and, you know, he's he's having fun and he's, you know, he's a college kid and, you know, he's, he's doing amazing. My oldest son left today. So, missing him. So I thought, well, let me do a video to get my mind off of it. But it was really wonderful. And I just can't believe he is into his last semester of college. That being said, I'm just going to, I'm sitting on my bed. I'm hoping that's going to make me less anxious. And I'm just going to grab as I go. And it's just not going to be in any particular order. Um, I have a couple of things I've got from Christmas. And I can't wait to show you that. So, the first thing I grabbed is something I decided to pull out of my whip pile. Or UFO pile if you will and that is Midnight Elephants by True Colors and this is something that I'm doing for my youngest son because he loves elephants and I have been working on this for a couple years now um, I did put it down for the bulk of 2022 to work on my anniversary piece so I thought you know what let's get this done this is the year for 2023 so this is going to be in the front room i kind of explained it last video it's just easier for me to have projects in two different rooms i decided to put my my more intensive piece which is this one because it's going to require more concentration because it's a lot of gray it's like practically all gray and it's a color chart to boot so i struggle a little bit with those and especially, especially, you know, being almost all the same color. But again, this is the one I'm doing. This is the one he wanted. And what makes it a little bit easier is I'm doing it on 28 count even weave. I don't remember the color, to be honest with you. But um, I did a lot. I worked on some yesterday. This is what it looks like right now. And let me see. Okay, so you can tell I've got some empty spaces. I'm confused. So what I decided to do is yesterday I worked on it and I worked on the bottom. So I'm going to work on the bottom and work my way up. And I think that's going to be easier for me. So I'm hoping I could get a lot done to show you for next time. So yay! I have a feeling this is going to be the type of project where you're not going to feel like you're doing anything and then all of a sudden you're like, wow, I did a lot. And so, we're going to see. I'd love to surprise him with that. The next thing I worked on, and this is my new year, new start, is, I don't know, I, I've been looking at different types of needlework. Not to say I'm tired of cross-stitch, but just kind of doing other things besides that. 
because sometimes I do feel maybe that's why I'm getting a little bored. And so I am on Peppermint Purple's Facebook group. So if you're not on there, she always offers every year a complimentary chart. I haven't done them yet because it requires a big piece of fabric and I'm I always debate on colors of fabric and eventually I'll do that. But I wanted to start on something small. Plus I wanted to help her out. You know, so she has a club. And I think it's like eight dollars a month. I only committed for three months. You have to commit for at least three months, which I fully understand. And what you get is is a free chart and you get 10% off of her website, which she has so many beautiful patterns. And um, you get access to like um, the previous stitch alongs because once that year ends, she puts it for, you know, she has it locked under, which I can understand that. You know, she, she puts in a lot of work. We all do. So I decided that I was going to join for three months. And then obviously if I like it, I'll extend it to more. And so this is the chart that we got for December. She It comes out on the 20th of every month. And I love it. Um, yesterday it was perfect for me to stitch at night when I'm sitting there and I'm kind of bored. But I don't really want to cross stitch. This is this is only three days worth of work. So I also loved it because I got to pull out my colors. So she had six different colors plus a black and a gray. And I'm doing reds. And I got one purple picked out and a gold. So it's in between DMC and just sulky and things like that. So I'm loving it. Can't work wait to work on it some more the next thing let's all celebrate this is the very last time you have to see this project and um, I'm so happy to have it done in time for when I wanted to complete it I was really shooting for the end of the year and I did my last stitch on December 31st 2022 already washed it I've ironed it and it is my anniversary piece and I'm so proud of this so I decided to look for the alphabet and so I went on Lord I think it's Libidian and I'll put it down below to get the alphabet and it took me two days to do it I had some ripping to do it was a little bit of a challenge um I wasn't really happy with this placement of my name but I'm over it now so the name is Mary and William and I put 07 February 1998 because that's our our wedding date and then I put our forever love and that's really not our phrase. I don't know if y'all ever had phrases for your for your wedding. But ours was two hearts become one. And it was on our invitations. It was just a big thing. However, that wasn't going to fit. So I had to think of three words. And I just thought that that was fitting. Our forever love. Since... We're coming up on 25 years. And I've been very blessed with that. So yay! I'm so excited. Don't know when I'm going to get it framed. But just knowing that I completed it. And it's off my back. Not that it was unpleasant. But it, it's one of those pieces where I enjoy. Because it lets me really think. If you know what I'm saying. Because it's so intricate. And yet it's so tiring as well but I digress just super excited well I wanted to show you another thing that I did just in case if y'all are like me sorry for the noise I am not how shall I say the most organized of people 
and I was a little upset. I don't know if you could tell, and you probably can't, and that doesn't take away from the beauty of the piece, but even though I washed my floss, when I washed my fabric after I finished, it bled a little bit. Just my heart. Just a little bit. But I looked and I asked my mother if you could tell and she said no. So I was like, okay. So let me come up with another way of doing it. And I'm always losing my needles too. We had a couple scares. So I said, what can I do to make it easier for me? So I like to buy these spins. This is from Aldi's, but they also have it um, where you get it in the lids. So what I did was, is I put my needle minder on the lid, see? And then I put a damp piece of paper towel in the middle. And so all I do now is I just run my floss through it. And then I just close it up and I know where my needle is because my needle always falls. And now with my stuff getting bled on, I was not a happy person. So I also have one of these little that I need to buy more of pencil card pencil cases and I just put it in there with my scissors and my pen and my floss and um, if you're like me just want to show you that little trick because I'm just not a happy person I'm not going to lie about it okay so then the, the last thing I wanted to show you is some things that I received from Christmas and I love them all so the first thing I got was from my sister Dawn, and I didn't know if she was going to get me anything, and I have to tell you, I love it so much. Um, I typically have this old spiral book that I've had for, I think by 2015, that I would put all my finishes and, you know, who the designer was and so on and so forth. And so now... I have something more beautiful to replace it with and it says marry my amazing sister so she's amazing as well so it has a beautiful rose and so thank you so much Dawn I will treasure it forever the next thing I got was let me see if I I've moved like I said this was my third time doing it um, a beautiful card and a package from my friend Sharon at Magnolia Nana. So, of course, I'm sure a lot of people know about her channel. But if you don't, please go check her out because she is amazing. And she likes to talk about books as well. So, if you're into that and some beautiful cross-stitching, I suggest her channel. But nevertheless, she gave me this amazing card. Thank you so much. I really appreciate what was inside as well. It's a lovely, lovely message. And it said, we visited this beautiful church with our daughter in Scotland. We took a train to York, England and spent a day there exploring. So this is in England and it's a medieval church. It's York Minister. So thank you so much. I love architecture and everything, so that was great. So she gave me a couple of really cute charts. So the first one is from Bent Creek. It's called Oodles of Winter. And it has the little buttons as well. So I can't wait to do that one. The next one is from Hands On Design. It is HD-43 August and says Sleep Under the Stars. And the other one is A Bouquet for Elizabeth by Paula Vaughn. I know I have a lot of um, Paula Vaughn that I got at a thrift store. It's in a box that I don't feel like going through. So this is perfect. Something that I could just kit up and go. And it's beautiful. It's classic. You know, Paula Vaughn is a beautiful designer. 
And last but not least, she got me. Her, she gave me a wrap. Uh, excuse me. Rule. I'm so excited. I can't stand it. Riolis. Riolis kit. It's a bead embroidery kit. It's number one two two four, and it is nothing but beads, and it's a star. So thank you. Thank you so much, Sharon. So I have a couple of their kits, but I haven't. I haven't brought them out yet to do. So that's going to be a really good one to do because it's small and compact. Okay, let's see what else. Sorry about this. I, I start putting everything away, you know. And now I don't know what I did with everything. Oh, well. Okay. So, as you know, I had to get rid of a lot of stuff when I moved. And I wasn't happy about it. But, you know, that's the way life is. And so, I said, I need, even though I don't quilt, I'm trying to do other crafty things. I wanted a mat. So I picked up this mat. And the best price is Walmart. It was like ten dollars, eleven dollars. So super happy about that. Um, I got the ruler. Got to have the ruler. It was like nine dollars. My mom gave me this. I when I picked it out, I thought it was going to be bigger. But I'm not sad about it because this will be great for beading. It's just a cute little mat. So there you go. And I found my scissors, but it's kind of like needlework scissors. You could never have too many. So I got another pair of scissors. And it matches the mat. And it's pearlescent, which is pretty. I love it. And I'm sorry I'm struggling here, and I was like, gosh, where is that other whip I was going to show you, and I can't find it. So I'm just going to show you the chart and see if I can find it and loop it in the end. So this is one that I decided that I'm going to flip to my focal point because the elephant is going to be just here and there. I've had this forever in my stash. But I decided when I moved over here that I had to rip out the charts that I really wanted. I had to make the tough decisions, and you know how it is, when you really don't want to, but you have to. And so this is the one of the ones. So I'm trying to work through my magazines. This is an old chart from August of 2008. Oldie but goodie. Just cross stitch. I chose to do the summer and what drew me in was the strawberry and the watermelon and the flag and I just think it's really cute so this is from Amy Birkin and she collaborated with Conetta and Hurlstone of Wallflower Stitchery so I did a little bit not much of a start, so it doesn't hurt me that I'm not showing it. I just didn't think about it when I packed up everything. This is just this video spur in a moment. So I'm going to work on that. Can't wait to show you next time. Um, I was going to have a new start with my sister's project because she's turning 50 this year. And I wanted to make sure I got it done. Of course, you know how I am. I either didn't buy the stuff and I was going to get to it, or I bought this stuff and then put it with the rest of it, and then it's somewhere either donated <laughs> or it's in my stash. So I have to put an order in for one, two, three stitch. Or I, you know. So make sure I got all my floss so I can get ready to go, and I want to get that one started in February because her birthday's in July. That'll give me plenty of time. It's a more Norcore bit, so I enjoy stitching those. And that's about it. I just wanted to stop by and say hi. Um, I know you everybody's inundated with videos because it's the new year, but thank you so much for letting me 
pop into your home and sh give you my updates. So, not sure when I'm going to come back. Probably by the end of, you know, in a couple weeks. And hopefully I have a lot of stitching updates to give to you. So take care and happy stitching. Bye. Mm.